In this video, I'm gonna show you how to handle drops in performance of your Google Ads, especially given the current environment. I'm getting a lot of feedback back from people saying that their campaigns are suffering, and I wanted to give you guys some guidance with exactly what I'm doing in my campaigns and in my clients' campaigns. So guys, as you're well aware, a lot of businesses have been forced to shut down around the whole world. In Australia here, things like restaurants, bars, nightclubs, there's huge, huge lines out the front of uh, Centrelink, our unemployment agency. Uh, basically, guys, businesses have been forced to shut down. Now, if you have clients yourself or are running Google Ads, some of you are noticing changes in your performance. Some of you are noticing a big, big increase, but a lot of you have noticed poorer performance. Now, the whole aim of this video is gonna be give you specific advice how to address the most common issues I'm seeing and to answer some of the questions that I'm seeing in my Facebook group. I'd really appreciate it if you guys join the group uh, and also if you like, comment, subscribe in the video, guys, it really it helps me tell the YouTube algorithm that my videos are good. Only if you think so though, right? So guys, one, the first thing you need to do is you need to work out whether or not your business is still able to function, okay? So if your business or your client's business is not able to legally operate anymore, as in they have to close down, they have a physical business and they can only serve out of that physical business, then you're gonna to have to pause the campaigns. Don't worry too much about pausing campaigns. I've done it lots of times with Google Ads, and although straight away they may not come out of the gates at the exact same force that they were, they come out pretty quick, uh, they adapt really, really quickly, and I find that even if they don't, with small changes uh, and a little bit of patience, you'll have them going amazing again in, in no time at all. As I said, Temporarily pause the ads if you cannot function in any way, shape, or form. Now, if you do have the budget, and I totally understand a lot of your clients and a lot of you aren't gonna have the budget to keep advertising when no money's coming in. For those that do though, and you wanna keep an online presence and you wanna stay front of mind, remember a lot of people are still at home searching, right? They're on their phones, they're on their computers, they're on YouTube, they're searching, right? They're at home, they're bored and it's a lot of people. Social distancing is causing people to be on their phones even more, more than ever before, right? If you've got that budget, I want you to go in, right, and lower your bids. Lower your bids and lower your budgets. By how much is gonna depend in your industry and how much you're willing to spend. What I would suggest is you go in and if you wanna keep a bare minimum presence, go in and really lower it just below uh, to be either at first page or below the first page result. You can add that column into your Google Ads report. Just go into the columns and find the estimated top of page, first page bids, and just have a look there, play around with it, and just keep lowering it over time and monitoring your performance. Uh, on top of that, I really suggest that you go in and you do a massive, massive deep dive, remove any poor performing keywords, ads, placements, locations, the normal optimization process. I will leave a link below to some videos, guys, that will help you with uh, optimization, and I've got a lot in this channel, so go and check them out. Um, I might even leave a card just above, so click that card or click the links below and it'll take you to them. Now, the other thing you could do is you could potentially send people to uh, a landing page purpose built or some kind of um, page that you tell them exactly how your business is going to function during this crisis. Um, and the reason we're doing all this guys is so that once the social, um, I guess, lockdown stops, you, you've you been front of mind for all these people and if they were in the market to buy, then they're probably gonna consider you over someone else that wasn't marketing. You're gonna find that um, ad costs are gonna be coming down. So some people see this as an opportunity. The other thing you could potentially do guys if you don't even wanna do that is just focus on remarketing. Do a shopping remarketing only campaign. So go into your audiences and click your, ret add your retargeting audiences and go targeting, not observation, okay? You do that, you're only gonna be targeting people who have already been on your website and things like that. You can do that for shopping, search, display, and YouTube. All of those things, it's possible guys. So that way again, stay in front of mind of the customer. The other thing, guys, that you may be able to do if the business that you work in or uh, your client's business, help them pivot to an online business model. Now, if they're a service-based business that offers advice, um, you could turn them into an online consulting business. Now, are they going to come out and make the same money? No, you cannot make that claim. It's unlikely. But even things like personal trainers, 
They could do online PT sessions. I think for a lot of businesses that haven't brought their um, business into the online space, this is actually an opportunity where it's kind of forcing them to take that step that they may not have considered or have considered and just kept putting it off due to not wanting to and not needing to probably. So there needs to be a bit of adaptation, guys, to survive through this crisis. And you know, you as digital marketers can help either do that and help people do it. Um, so stay tuned guys, I'm hoping to release a video tomorrow on exactly how to take your business online, right? So how to take an offline business online. If you can help them do that, even simple things guys, you know, setting them up with a Zoom account, setting up a website for them if they don't have it. There's so many services out there guys, and there's businesses that still have money. So although be kind, be nice to these people, help them, but if you can make a little bit of money, especially if you've lost your job, this might be a great way to do it, right? So helps you, you help them, and everyone wins in this, guys. So there's gonna be people bored that are gonna need personal training at home. Not everyone is gonna stop spending entirely. That's a complete misconception. Right, so we've covered off, you know, if your business is closed down, and then either, you know, limiting campaigns, pausing campaigns, or pivoting to an online business model, or even just remark. The next is, if your business is open, and obviously your ad performance has dropped. Now the first, common complaint I get are my impressions have dropped, how can I fix this? If your impressions have dropped, either competitors have come in the space, which at the moment sounds unlikely, right? Or search volume has gone down. What can you do about that? Very little. So more than likely the impressions factor is just due to people searching less. That is going to come with time, guys, and just go through the normal optimization process, as I've said, where you refine campaigns and make them as specific and accurate as possible for your customer. Okay, the second question I have been getting asked a lot lately is how clicks have dropped, what can I do? Right, so if clicks have dropped and impressions haven't, right? So you're getting less clicks, then someone has either come up um, and started bidding higher than you, or they've come in and made more relevant ads, or the words you're appearing for aren't relevant. There's a bunch of factors. Uh, another could be your landing page experience has dropped. Go through and check all those things and just make sure that you know your ads are as relevant as possible to the keywords you're bidding on and the keywords you're bidding on are relevant right like if they've got if they're too broad you're not going to convert that's the number one issue i see in people's accounts they go just way too broad uh, new ads aren't being approved is another big one yes so i believe google's team if you go into any google ads account at the moment there's a message in there and it basically says okay, we are experiencing delays. So yes, you're gonna get delays. I had one ad that was has still been sitting for days and days and days, could be a week now, uh, and it hasn't been approved. And unfortunately, all you can do is wait or pause it and duplicate it and create another one and see if that gets it to go faster. But unfortunately, delays are happening. Conversion rate has dropped. Now, if your conversion rate has dropped, the same number of people are clicking, which I find unlikely. I think what most people are experiencing here is just literally the panic of the virus is causing people to, you know, they're still there searching, they might wanna do this, but they're just not committing to it because they either don't have the funds or are unsure whether they will have the funds. So that uncertainty causes people to not spend. That again is gonna come with time. So what I suggest is lower your bids and lower your exposure a little bit, okay? And even potentially lower your budgets a bit, but just make sure you're very diligent in adding negative keywords and anything where you were a little bit sloppy, try and refine it. Performance being up and down and inconsistent is, well, if you're in the e-commerce space, that's e-commerce, unfortunately, okay? So the e-commerce is not a straight linear, straight exponential line that explodes uh, forever, okay? It just doesn't happen you're gonna get ups, you're gonna get peaks and troughs, just like the stock market gets peaks and troughs, your business is gonna get peaks and troughs. Now, to properly get campaign performance uh, to be more consistent is again, optimization, uh, sticking to it and making sure you're not going too broad and also not relying entirely on one traffic source. You'll see that everything I teach to everyone, whether it be my free course, my paid course, my YouTube videos, I'm telling you, make sure, even if you're mainly using Google Ads, I'm the Google Ads guy, right? If you're only using Google Ads, you're putting your business at risk. At the very least, remarket on Facebook, and even now, you know, add the feed to Bing and also to Pinterest. The Symprosis app allows you to link to a bunch of other feeds for the same price, basically, guys. It's a very, very cheap app. Just get in there, use that app. It's gonna make life simple and easy for you. 
Now, as I've told you already, guys, what I would suggest, people are, less people are advertising, so the cost of advertising is coming down for most businesses. Some businesses, it's now their time to shine, right? So some businesses, you know, insurance. Um, I'm gonna do a list and a video on who I'm seeing dominate at the moment, but things I'm seeing do well are insurance. A lot of online stores, you know, particularly in the health space, they're doing really well, right? Um, gardening, believe it or not, knitting, all sorts of things I'm hearing, whether or not it's from other people um, in other groups or uh, other well-known and respected Google Ads experts in the community. This is the, the feedback I'm seeing, myself, clients, and them, okay? There are businesses that are still doing well, okay? You, you can still find those if you're looking for clients and, and a needing business. But yeah, drop your bids. I'd suggest, you know, 10, 20% to begin with. Watch, monitor the performance, right? Again, let's do a really, really big deep dive. I, I want you to cut any fat, right? So this is people that are continuing to advertise, don't want to stop. Particularly those in the online space, you're still, especially if you're able to still deliver, you know, and, and your supply chain hasn't been completely destroyed, go in there, cut the fat, right? I've got a video below for how to do that with shopping and also one on how to do it with search. Uh, I'm also linking below the Google Shopping Optimization video, which is a, a gem, guys. That video has gotten so many views and it's done really, really well for the, for the simple reason that it actually tells you exactly what you need to do to optimize your campaigns. Now for search, let's cut out any keywords, campaigns, um, and ads that are just not pulling their weight in. Weren't before, weren't now, definitely get rid of them. Uh, focus on improving conversion rate. I'm sure, like me, you guys have a list a mile long of different things you wanted to do to your website to improve it. Now's the time to do it. Now's the time to go out there and do all those things that you wanted to do. Improve your email um, campaigns. Create a messenger bot to follow up. Um, implement text uh, messaging, right? SMS bump, jump on that, great ROI. Uh, Post-purchase upselling. Um, improving the product page, getting someone to speed up your product page, which is huge, has a big impact in ad performance. You can do all these things, guys, to improve your conversion rate. Focus on it. Now, just generally speaking, when I find a campaign uh, pauses, I'm finding that changing a bidding strategy can sometimes really change the results of the campaign. So as simple as changing the bidding strategy might work for you, give it a try if things have become really dire. Uh, worst case, pause the campaign, duplicate it, create the new one, and hopefully the next campaign is gonna do better. This is where I sometimes test a smart campaign. Right, this is probably one of the very few times I will, um, and particularly if the catalog is really, really big and it's gonna be hard to manage otherwise. Now, the last group of people that I'd say people fall into are businesses and clients that are doing extremely, extremely well. I mentioned some of them already, but the things I'm seeing are mainly e-commerce, health, fitness, grocery, food, hobbies, uh, anything done indoors, and even some stuff done in the yard, so like gardening and other outdoor hobbies, doing really, really well. Uh, business broking, I've got a business broking client, they're doing really well. I've got a lending client uh, doing amazingly. I've heard debt collection is doing well. Insurance is killing it. Cleaning products, I have a, uh, a client that sells cleaning product, doing really, really well. Accounting and law firms, anything that's um, legally mandated, like safety inspections, uh, fire safety, things like that, they're still gonna do well, guys. People still need that service. They're an essential service, right? Um, some of my clients actually, the ones that tend to be bigger, have strong cash flow. They're ramping up their marketing now. And I'm not just saying that to um, spin rubbish to you. It's true, they're actually stepping it up, guys. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. It's not all doom and gloom, right? Um, stay tuned for my next video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Next video, guys, is gonna actually be, you know, how to take a business that's offline, put it online. So for you, you guys out there, businesses that are struggling right now because you've got no income, this is a way to finally take it online and start making a bit of money, you know, as even every little bit's gonna help you. For those of you that are wanting to get clients, this is an easy way to help people to implement that. There's a lot of businesses out there that still have cash. Yes, you're probably not gonna get the same amount of money as you could two or three weeks ago. Lower your prices, get in there, make them some money. Uh, help that business, really help them. Um, and you're gonna actually see that, you know, from that, they're gonna trust you. And when times are good again, they're gonna come to you. Guys, thank you so much and see you in the next video.